All right, welcome back to the channel, Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com. So we are gonna start a series of dry suits. And we're gonna talk about a number of different dry suits that we have used. Um, I, have, uh, I have experience in six different dry suits currently, and I've owned four of them. And I do have an additional dry suit on its way now, and that's eventually where we're leading to. Um, and so a lot of this is gonna be personal opinion uh, but it is actual experience with dry suits and the different brands that we've tried. Um, were they made to measure? Were they off the shelf? Did we use boots? Did we use socks? Did we use um, different uh, coverings such as the, cor uh, the Cordura or did we use um, Kevlar knee pads? All kinds of, we're, we're gonna talk about a bunch of different things and why certain suits we like and certain suits that we didn't like as much. I don't want to say dislike. Um, but uh, as you can see, we have the Hollis DX300X here. And in here I have my uh, very first dry suit that I purchased, which is the Bear Tech Dry. Um, and so the next video, we're going to start with the Bear Tech Dry, talk about some things that we learned in purchasing that suit, and some changes that we made uh, with the suits that followed after that. And eventually lead into the suit that we have um, purchased. It's a 100% made to measure, and it is a uh, custom suit that should arrive mid-January. So all this is going to lead up to that. So when we do um, reviews on that suit, because it's a brand I have never dove before, and um, so we're, we're gonna get there and enjoy that. So uh, follow along with, with us for the ride, and hopefully we'll get to help some of you folks out that are looking to move into dry suits or purchase an additional dry suit as a backup or as a new primary. Um, and hopefully we can help you save some dollars. So thanks for checking us out. Cyborg Pirate and CyborgPirate.com. Cyborg out.